We're live in Gehenna, Texas at the magnificent H-E-L-N-L Stadium. Built by zillionaire owner, GM, and coach Scary Clones. He describes it as a Roman Coliseum theme park, slaughterhouse, art museum, and secret bordello all in one. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The San Francisco 49ers battle, the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my mental. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. The odds that I get in Vegas. Get a point. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the... If he was still talking, he'd be saying... Psycho killer, Keska say. Yeah, what the yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck? And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he's running like a moose right now. Second down and more than the QB would like. He's got his beast. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Third down and the punter is warming up. Wrestles away from that, and that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. He could go all the way. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. He's not going down. Oh, and he looks like he just saw four. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Defense holds him to a four yard pickup there. Second down and six. The defense better look out. The offense. It's two yard run before he stopped. Four. You ever get hit in the head 
with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. He runs it for three. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Third down and three. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First down and six. They got this ball to one speed dirty trick. Man, what a... he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and seven. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but... This guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. They're down in eight. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Third down and eight. And he runs it for four yards. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks... Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Third down and three. A pickup of about three on that play. Hold everything. They're going for it on fourth down. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel, he got blown across the room into the theater antlers. And 
And it's first and ten. And he made a mistake there, throwing it in. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when it. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the... And he's running like a moose. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. He was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. May go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Eyeball, I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? It's first and ten. And he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. Well, good heads up play there, getting it out of bounds. Better than throwing a pick. Third down and a pussy here. First down! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even... And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. Wrestling? The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. Talk for the first down. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that! Bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Second down and a lot. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Oh, holy monster.
Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't get a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, he just got crushed. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> Second down and seven. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. <laughs> done for a first down oh and you can bury that guy because he is dead oh did you see what number he was i gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card i only need one more and it's first and ten <laughs> boom and like the titanic his ship just went down hey hey i almost got dead mutant bingo all i need is 77 to fight it They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Nice pick up for six yards. Second down and four. And he 
gets three yards on that run. I know I just said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. That's a butt on your turn. The offense is down to their last running back. No risk for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And that'll bring up third and one. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. Brick should have. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Not much there, maybe a yard. And that'll be second down and four. You're an idiot. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Third and two. Point with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah. And like Brix's bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. The 30. He's at the 20. The 10. He intercepted the QB's pass and returns it for a touchdown. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Brix. I know. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. And that'll bring up third and... It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And that'll bring up third and one. The quarterback has had enough and called up, and he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. the extra point attempt. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And he breaks away. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and a very lot. knocked him into the next time zone and the offense has only two running backs left and the defense is licking their lips uh, i think they want to hit those last two runners for this man. and it's first and ten and the qb might as well 
well just bury himself now because this guy's full on berserk. Well, at least he could and the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to fluff it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I always wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard, though, when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and three. Oh, and the defense jumps offside and attacks the QB. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. First and four. never seen a demon smile so much. He says his secret is that he's poisoned the minds of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. In your face, <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a... He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. See that boo, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. When you hear the sounds of bones snapping like that, Grim, you assume the worst. I assume that it was even worse than what you may have assumed. I assume you're right. Yeah! First and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Third down and long. 
Two minutes remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I got a date with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl's nothing but trouble. And I don't think that's a mole one I lick either. And he was stuck to him like glue. And they'll line up for the punt here. Well, that's a lovely shank for the punter today. He just put his team, and he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and 10. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and 10. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and 10. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. He is fighting for every yard. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB's going to have more intercept. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it plays a Schmuck. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, man, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, 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 I got bingo, Grim. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? The Hellboys come away with a big win today. And a big slab of barbecue, Grim.
It was a brutal battle of attrition, but they come away with a three-point win and are celebrating on the field. Yeah, and giving the ref a few bucks didn't hurt the cause either. Well, it hurt my cause. I had a sawbuck on this fucking game. The game's most valuable player is about to speak. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I fall. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.